Hello everybody, hi, it's me, it's I Hate Will, and today we are playing Minecraft on the iCraft SMP server. We did a little mine ride, mine ride, minecart ride, uh, down this very select hall that we have. Because I found this, and we're gonna play with it. It's a zombie spawner, here we go. Got me a saddle in here, got some gunpowder, who cares about that. Horse armor. Very good. Also got a couple name tags. Some iron, that's cool. Some more gunpowder. So, we're gonna have fun with this. I know it's a bit silly to do this, considering that there is such an efficient Enderman farm uh, that is easily accessible through the nether into the stronghold. But, I just, I have this rule. I mean, if you find a spawner, you make a spawner trap, right? I mean, that's just how it goes. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna make the one that I always do. Uh, probably won't do too much of this on film, on camera. I thought I had you guys, uh... All figured out here. Okay, here. There. Da 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 da. Alright, let's go ahead and knock this out. Alright. Uh, let's go down. Let's go ahead and get rid of you as well. And since we know we're going to need it, let's go ahead and get a infinity pool going. Uh, let's see, I think right here would be fine. Out of the way. Oop, wrong one. There we go. Okay. Let's go hollow this thing out. Okay. It's gonna be nice having all this, uh... Well, I guess it's, it doesn't really matter anymore, all the moss stone, huh? I mean, it used to be so rare and so special, but now it's just like, whatever. Am I full up? I'm full up. Okay, not a problem. Give me you, give me you, give me you. Alright. Let's just get a feel for how far this water goes. About right here. About right here. And... Right there. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Oops. Need you. Okay. Alright, knock you out right there. Let's just get the shape going and then we'll worry about design when we're done with that. Okay, right there. Almost there. And one more should do it. No, 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 no. Okay. What? Oh, okay. I see. I missed. A, I missed one here. Just go ahead and grab you. But it do. And we move you. Pa pow. Huh? Huh? Yeah, that somehow fixed it. <laughs> All right. Perfect. We have our entrance right there. Okay. Bring you out this way.
And how far off are we from this? Okay, zombies can drop right there. I think, I hope, I pray. And then we can oh, go crazy town on them right there. All right, that's the overall shape. I'm going to go ahead and fill the rest of this out. And when I get back, should be complete. I mean, this is not going to be a complicated farm. So I have a lot of other things planned for today. Just I found this right before I figured out exactly where everything else was going to go for today's episode. So uh, just I had to do it. I had to do it. If I don't do it now, I won't ever do it. So here we go. Ah, oh, there's a dark patch right here. Get rid of you. Bad guys? Nobody? Alright. So, <laughs> gotta collect some pumpkins here. Oh, oh, hey, Speedy, Speedy, Speedy. Put your head out. Get killed! What'd you drop? You dropped some iron. Very cool. So I have to collect some uh, pumpkins right now because I have a very special project that I'm working in relation to our zombie spawner and just about anything else. Uh, let's go take a look. I feel like I had more here that one time and something terrible happened to it, didn't it? I don't know. I might be wrong. Uh, let's go inside. It's dark. It's very scary. And take a look. Actually, let's go here first. So many scary things. Where are they? Okay. Hold on. Let's do this. Little jerks. Super annoying. So, uh... is my new pig. Hi. I didn't expect to see a pig out there. I don't know how a lone pig was out in the savanna, but... I planted a few carrots earlier. Managed to grab some. Tracked him down. Brought him in here. Trapped him. Now he's my pig. I'm gonna use one of my name tags, gonna put a saddle on him, and ride him around. Probably gonna move him up once we get everything built. But uh, for now, he's hanging out there with my stones. Now let's go down here. Because I realized I wanted to go for a specific style in my uh, zombie spawner, which meant that I was going to have to get more cactus. Now I know... There's a very good cactus farm back in town. It works. Uh, it's not the kind that I would usually make, but it is very, uh, very efficient. Now, mine is too. Let's take a look at it real fast. Hold on, let's get up here. See, once those cactuses get a certain height, which is a two, two height, the second tier of the cactus, uh, it interferes with that fence post right there. It pops and it falls down here into this water. And this water pushes it into this hopper. And then I grab it from this hopper. I don't think one's popped yet. I just put down everything. So that's good. Now I could go back to town over and over again, get more and more cactuses as I go about it, uh, as I need them. But, uh, you know, let's get self-sufficient, man. Let's get, let's get, you know, to the point to where we go back to town for the sightseeing, not the shopping. We go for the culture, not the consumerism. Huh? That's a smart idea. Now we need this because I use a lot of green, gl gr green glass in my plans for the zombie spawner and for my plans in general. Matter of fact, this is going to have green glass here as well. Because I like the way it looks. One popped. Where'd he go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I heard it. I friggin' heard it. There is a chance that it'll fly into another cactus. And when it does that, it's finito. It's gone. It's gone forever. Uh, nothing I can do about that. I could space them out a little bit more, but I don't want to. And I want to have them out, um, I think a 4x4 four four would work out real good. Let's see, get uh, about one right here. Maybe a 3x4, I don't know, I gotta look at it, maybe a 3x3 three three would work well. 
Uh, but it's going to be more than this 2x2. Two two. I know that much. Yeah, I think that one got popped. It was very embarrassing. But let's just say, let's just say this piece of sand right here is our cactus. Oh, let's get up. Okay, here we, here we go. Here, here goes. Here goes. Perfect example. Okay, well, landed in my <laughs> inventory right here. Let's just toss this here. Let's just toss this here. Okay. It's gonna fly all, fly all down. <laughs> End up in here. Very good. Now, I'm gonna be pushing this back further this way, and as I push it back, this will come closer this way. Uh, but I wanted to go AFK, because I need to collect some cactuses for the build, and uh, gather some pumpkins as well. And the best way to do that, of course, is to go bye-bye for a bit, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add this cactus to the uh, farm right here, and then take a sleep, and come back, and have me a good amount of cactus in this chest here. Hopefully nobody comes on and messes with me <laughs> while I'm gone. Okay, progress report time, guys. It is... Well, it's been like 12 hours, but I only left the game running AFK for about 5. This is what I got in here. Two full stacks, and then 17. Very good yield, I think. For something that you have to wait for them to grow up and pop. Very simple, very easy to do. I went ahead and finished out uh, the rest of this, making it a 3x4. I think that's the size that I like to go with. And let's go all the way back here. Got all these jack-o'-lanterns here. I've never used jack-o'-lanterns before. Uh, you do have to place a block underneath it to get it going up first, and then place the sand on top, but uh, it'll help with the lighting. Now, when I have this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, let's take that 17, actually. Throw that in the furnace. Here we go. A boom. Uh, do I have glass ready? Got nine there. Really need to organize. I gotta get a, a, uh, a storage unit in place. That'll probably be, probably be coming next because a lot of the plans I have require a centralized storage unit. Gonna have some piping. That My wife is uh, having a discussion with our dog <laughs> in the background. I don't think you can hear it, but maybe. Uh, it is the afternoon. I usually don't record at this time, but I want to get this up tomorrow. Uh, so, we got that going. I'm going to have to go out and get more glass, so it means a trip out to the desert. And when I get back, we'll go ahead and finish out this, uh, decorating it, of course. And then we'll go back and handle the uh, zombie spawner. Oops. I always do that. Alright, after we finish this, we're going to go back to the zombie spawner and finish that out. Okay, I think I like this. Do you like it? I think I like it. It doesn't matter if you like it. I like it. Um, only going to use three blocks for this particular wall. And this wall is going to go down there. I'm going to show you what I'm working with. Uh, don't want to use smooth stone. Because regular old stone could look like regular wall. And then we might mine through it. And that's not good. No, sir. So we're going to use polish and decide. Crack stone brick and regular stone brick for our cactus farm. Let's take a look at it. I've done a little bit of a improvement on it. And, don't know why I always go the long way. Why are you open? I left you open. Damn fool. Also, Pig got away. Had to lock him back up. But uh, let's come all the way down here. Take a looky look. I trimmed some vines. I needed some. Uh, for something else I'm working on. This is what we got. Very simple, very easy. Green glass on bottom. Acacia right there. I don't know if you can tell, but that's acacia. Maybe I need to add some purple on this bottom row. I think purple would look good. I uh, don't know if I want to spare the lapis yet, and I don't have enough roses and poppies to do that as of yet, but down the line, might switch that out to purple. I don't know what I'm going to put up here. Maybe nothing. I don't know. And uh, the idea is that right now it's very plain. Uh, but what I want to do is get a second farm. I'm not sure what else is going to be over here, but it's going to mirror this somehow. At least the shape of it. And well, obviously, this is very cactus oriented. 
whatever I put over there is going to have different uh, ways to exploit its, uh, its drops. So I have to figure that out. I'm thinking maybe, maybe some reeds, some sugarcane would look good over there. I mean, that's very useful. I, I've been enchanting a lot because we have that great Enderman farm. And with that zombie farm, shoot, let me roll one in XP. So, maybe a sugarcane farm makes sense. I'm not sure, but it's going to be similar to this, definitely. And eventually, once I get my centralized um, storage unit in place, I'm going to be pushing this stuff not just in here, but all the way over to the centralized storage unit. And then down the line, once that chest fills up, shut her down and just have it sit here running. And then I can always go back and add the cactus right there. Pop, 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 pop. Whenever. Now, as I was saying, let's go ahead and trim this out. We're going to want to put new walls up here. Just for looks and to avoid any potential uh, mining accidents. Don't want to break into here and then have to fix it. Plus with the glass there, I mean, we have to put emphasis on what it looks like, right? Can't be ugly. So let's go ahead and... Ooh. Yes, yes I will. Yes, absolutely. Th that's wonderful. Thank you for giving me that. Uh, let's see, cobblestone's right here. Let's go ahead and replace you. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and have some steak. And bring you here, bring you here. We're going to have to get more of this stuff. Uh, but it's just going to be a randomized little thing. Like that. Uh, up. Huh. And how about here? That might be too much polish and sight in one spot. That's okay. That's definitely too much cracks, br cracked prick in one spot, but... Yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of that one little area right here. Uh, maybe some polish and sight. Then, then we gotta get rid of this. Randomizing it is a little harder <laughs> than it looks. Than it should be, really. Alright. Yeah, that'll look good. You don't want to put stairs right there, because they could potentially get stuck on the stairs. Now, that could not be a big deal. I mean, we're going to get such good yields off this. Hmm. That's, that's a thought, because the water won't run there, but these entities that pop off might could be something that we need to use. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and finish out this wall, this interior. Uh, I don't think we're going to have time to get to the zombie spawner today. Maybe next episode. I mean, it's not a particularly difficult thing to do. Uh, I did not expect the cactus farm to take this long. I mean, we're approaching day three of everything I'm doing now. And that's not good. I don't want to do that. So... Um... Probably work on the zombie spawner next episode, or work on this farm over here. Not sure what I'm going to put over there. So let me go ahead and finish this out. We'll take a look at it, and then we'll say goodbye. Everybody get mating. Everybody enjoy some wheat. Make some babies. Absolutely nothing bad is going to happen to any of you. Do not fret. Everybody bred? Everybody bred? This guy. This guy's lonely. This guy's lonely. We find each other? Goody! Alright, one last pass. Oh, found a couple. That fixed itself. Okay. Oh, oh, one more. One more. I'm afraid you're, uh... You're all by yourself there, buddy. Yep. All by yourself. Where you at? You? I'm sorry. Put you out of your misery. Okay, everybody that's a grown up gets killed. Cause I need to eat. Is it looting two with fire aspect and sharpness three? It won't kill on one strike, but 
the fire that happens afterwards definitely kills them. And I saved me a trip to the furnace. Very good. I do love having an Enderman farm. I used to being stuck in my own single player, single, pl single player worlds. <laughs> okay, my dog is freaking out next to me. There she goes. She sat down. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and finish this out. Doop doop. Get out of the way. Thank you. Give me this. And you and you. All right, one lone grown up. Get out of here. All right. I don't know who's gonna feed you, take care of you, little guys. I guess me. Uh, but good luck. You get back. You get back. Get back. You're cute, and I don't want to hurt you. Okay. Cool. All right, let's go check out our progress over the cactus farm. I think I like it. I like what I did over there. Let's see, how much did we get by the way? Ooh, two full stacks. And one more. And then quite a bit of leather. Yes. Very good. Alright, here we are. Alright, so we have the uh, three block randomized wall going around with some dark oak stairs upside down trimming it. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna put down underneath the stairs. Didn't think about that at the time, and then once I saw it, I got stuck. Uh, maybe some oak wood would look nice? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, and then to match this side, I got this. Going for an Asiatic kind of look? Like an Asian fusion, like... Where you get stuff from Payway, like the land. The magical oriental land that everything from Payway comes from. That's it. Because you know Payway, it's not really... Asian food, it's not Thai or Vietnamese or Chinese or Japanese, it's just kind of a... Inspired by, let's say that. Uh, so this is inspired by Payway. Uh, this side, of course, like we said, gonna be this. And then I got this built right here, I might block this off, might expand on it. Not sure yet. You gotta think about what other farms would look good with this kind of layout, uh, with this kind of width. I mean, I guess it doesn't necessarily have to go that far. I'd like for this side to go that far. Um, you know, maybe I'd do some of my more traditional farms, like wheat or corn. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But uh, that's going to do it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed. For now, this is Will. I am signing off. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>